In Luke chapter 14, we see that one Sabbath, Jesus went to eat in the house of a prominent Pharisee, and he was being carefully watched. There in front of him was a man suffering from dropsy, i.e. abnormal swelling of his body. Jesus asked the Pharisee and experts in the law, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath or not? But they remained silent. So, taking hold of the man, he healed him and sent him on his way. Then he asked them, If one of you has a child or an ox that falls into a well on the Sabbath day, will you not immediately pull it out? And they had nothing to say. Which is the greater commandment? Keep Sabbath or love neighbor? According to Jesus, love neighbor. Jesus also notices that the people at the meal have all tried to sit in the best seats possible, so he tells them that if they go to a wedding banquet, they shouldn't try to take the best seat because someone more important than them might show up and that they'll have to move and take whatever seat is left over. He says it's better to sit in the worst seat in the house because you may get offered a better seat and be publicly honored, but if you try to take the best seat, you may be publicly embarrassed. Then Jesus said to his hosts that it's better to invite poor people to parties than the rich because the poor can't repay you and your reward will come in the resurrection. Jesus then tells another parable about a man who invited many guests to a great banquet, but the guests made excuses not to come. I need to go see the new field I bought, or I need to go try out my new oxen, or I just got married. So the master of the feast quickly sent out his servants to the streets and alleys to bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. But there was still room, so the master sent his servants out to the roads and country lanes to bring in everyone they could. But the ones who were originally invited tasted no banquet. Jesus says to the large crowds traveling with him that if any of them wants to be his disciple, they must hate their own families and even their own life. They must pick up a cross if they want to follow Jesus. He tells two short parables to explain what he means. What if someone tries to build a tower, but they don't check to make sure they have all the supplies to do so? They will start, but not finish, and become a laughing stock. Or what if a king goes to war with another king and learns that the other king has twice the number of troops that he has? He will ask for peace instead of war. In other words, Jesus is asking if they have what it takes to follow him. Are they willing to surrender everything?